Hey guys, welcome to day 21 of our Pants Review Series, our 30-day series where I select a note card at random that I personally use to study for the pants to hopefully help you guys study for the pants with this Pants Review Series. Today's question is going to be all about kidney stones. They suck. They're painful. I've never had one, but people say they're the worst. Okay, so all about kidney stones. I'm going to ask you a couple of quick questions about kidney stones. Question number one, what is the most common type of kidney stone? Question number two, what is the most common location to have a kidney stone? Question number three, what is the way to diagnose the kidney stone? What is the best way to diagnose a kidney stone? Um, oh, and then bonus question number four, uh, sizes of kidney stones. What size of kidney stone usually is able to pass on its own, this size or smaller? And then what size usually needs a procedure for it to be taken out uh, or possibly broken up using lithotripsy? All right, so I just gave you a lot of questions. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to think about the most common type of kidney stone, the most common composition of kidney stone, the most common location, how it's diagnosed, and also sizes, what size of kidney stone will pass on its own usually, and what kind needs a lithotripsy or some sort of procedure to get it out of there. All right, give you guys a few seconds to think about it. Okay, anyway, so the most common type of kidney stone is calcium oxalate. Most common type of kidney stone is calcium oxalate. The most common location is the UVJ, the urethro, oh, what is V? I'm going to Google that real quick. The ure, the uter, oh my God, <laughs> I can't even say it. I'm not a urologist. Um, okay, so the most common location to have a kidney stone is the UVJ, the ureterovesicular junction. And I'll post a picture of it right now. The ureterovesicular junction, where the ureter and the, where the ureter and the vesicle, in this case the bladder, kind of meet. So it's the junction of the ureter and the bladder, the ureterovesicular junction. That's a bad picture. I want to find another one. Let's see, ureteropelvic junction. There it is. Okay, ureterovesicular junction. Okay, so I'll post a picture of the UVJ, the ureterovesicular junction. And if you look at the anatomy, it kind of makes sense why, uh, why it's more common to have it lodged there. So take a look at that, and then we're going to move on. So... Sorry about that. Hey, if I don't know something, I don't know something. I am not above Googling things. So, most common type of stone is the calcium oxalate stone. The most common location is the UVJ, the ureterovesicular junction. The way you diagnose it was with a CAT scan, a CT scan. And then the sizes, at least according to my note card, uh, less than 5 millimeters. A stone less than 5 millimeters, half a centimeter. Uh, usually passes on its own, quite painfully, but passes on its own. And then a stone larger than 8 millimeters, 8 millimeters, usually needs a lithotripsy or some sort of procedure to get it out of there. All right, so last but not least, uh, let's uh, repeat that one more time because that was a lot of information for kidney stones. The most common type of kidney stone is the calcium oxalate stone. The most common location is the UVJ, ureterovesicular junction, you diagnose kidney stones with a CT scan and sizes under 5 millimeters generally passes on its own. Over 8 millimeters generally needs a procedure to get it out.